Quite a few of you have been asking what I think of the new Creed Viking Cologne. Well, I've not smelled it yet. It's a bit too expensive for a blind buy, but today I am taking you into the store. I'm going to smell it for the first time and share my first impressions. Stay tuned. Oh, hello there. Let me move back. So I love Viking. I think it's a fantastic fragrance. I love it because it's got this minty freshness combined with this richness, with this depth. I love the sandalwood. It's a fragrance I can wear all year round. It's got great versatility. I can wear it for any occasion. So it's pricey, but for me, it's great quality and I think it's worth the money. I'm a little bit nervous because of Aventus Cologne. I enjoyed that smell. I liked the fragrance, but it just didn't last on me. It didn't project enough. I wasn't smelling it for long enough. And if I'm spending that amount of money on a fragrance, I want to be smelling it all day. So for me, Aventus Cologne wasn't worth the money, which is why I didn't purchase it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Viking Cologne is a bit richer, a bit more longer lasting, and a bit stronger than Aventus Cologne. Let's go and find out. So I'm actually going to Phoenix right now. I think they've got it in stock there. You know what, I don't even know if we're allowed to go in there and smell things yet, but fingers crossed. Yep, these guys look like they'd rock Viking Cologne. Okay, here we go, first smell. It's more herbal than I was expecting, I think, actually. It's, it is quite different from the original. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, a little bit soapy. It's not too light either. It's got a bit of depth to it, which is what I like about the original. It's got a really nice powderiness in, in the, at the bottom of it as well. I just wonder with it being a cologne, how, uh, how much it's projecting in the dry down. It doesn't smell exactly like Viking either. It's, 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 it's different. different, it's its own thing for sure, isn't it? it is, yeah. yeah. I think it smells further away from Viking than uh, Aventus Cologne did from Aventus. That did have more similarities, I thought. That's nice, yeah, I'll try it on skin, please. Yeah, That'd be great, yeah. Okay, oh, that's beautiful. That's really nice. I like that a lot. It's classy, gentlemanly, fresh, but I think it's got a nice base to it as well. Like I said, it's got a bit of depth. A little bit fruity. I've got to say, it's nice. It's got a little more, it's a little more rounded and rich than I thought it might be for a cologne. I hope it performs. I'm gonna wait and see how it goes on my hand here and fingers crossed. I think this is, I think she's gonna tell me this is 175 for the 50 mil. Pink peppercorn, yeah. sandalwood, and yes. orange blossom. Right. And I forgot the price. <laughs> <laughs> she remembered three notes, but forgot the price. All right, so they had it. They let me do some filming, happy days. I'm gonna find somewhere to sit down, have a coffee, and then formulate my opinions on this. Just trying to formulate my first thoughts on Viking Cologne. So my initial thoughts are that I'm actually really enjoying it. It doesn't remind me too much of the original Vikings, a little bit, but it's definitely doing its own thing. Overall, I would describe it as a modern day cologne style smell, not your classic cologne type smell, your modern day cologne and reminds me a little bit, it's got a little bit of CK1 in it. It doesn't smell exactly like that but it's got that sort of metrosexual modern day cologne type smell that that fragrance has. Obviously it smells higher quality than that, it's richer, it's got some incense in there and it's smoother than that fragrance and I suspect probably it will have better performance. So when it first opens the main thing I got was herbal notes. So I got rosemary and sage, a little bit of citrus there. It's got this nice refreshing element to it. But for me, it was mainly the herbs. Didn't get too much of the lavender in the heart. It definitely doesn't smell very lavender heavy to me. So you're not gonna get that sort of lavender dated smell. For me, one of the best things so far about this fragrance is the base. It's got some good robust notes, the sandalwood, frankincense, patchouli. And I think as it's starting to dry down now, it really, dries down really nicely and it's this slightly creamy, slightly floral, slightly herbal, slightly citrus powdery sort of dry down if any of that makes sense. So I get what I love so much about Viking that it's this 
fresh fragrance, this versatile fragrance, but it's got some depth to it. It's got a little bit of weight to it as well. I think it is fresher than Viking. Perhaps it's a little bit less versatile. So it's good, a modern cologne type smell with high quality ingredients. Question is, do I like it enough to buy it? Is 175 for the 50ml please. So I bought it. I'm going to be honest with you, it's nothing particularly innovative, it's not a game changer. I don't think it's going to blow your mind with how different it is. It's just a nice cologne type smell. It's not going to have massive performance. I don't think it's going to last as long as the original Viking. I like it, so I bought it. And I don't have feel posh walking through town with a Creed bag. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'll just set this up for the end shot. I'll take that posh wanker. Oh, oi, come back here, what are you doing?